In the next six months, U.S. Department of Defense could decide on whether to equip F-35s with a weapon for shooting down intercontinental ballistic missiles. If a go-ahead is given, this would represent an entirely new role for the fifth-generation stealth fighter. Viewers may note that F-35 has officially entered into its operational test phase recently, clearing the path for possible serial production from next year. In this video, Defense Updates analyzes how F-35 Lightning II could be used to shoot down ICBMs in the future. Let's get started. The Trump administration's recently unveiled Missile Defense Review talks about a new potential role for the F-35 Joint Strike Fighter. The review states, the jet has a capable sensor system that can detect the infrared signature of a boosting missile and its computers can identify the threatening missile's location. It can track and destroy adversary cruise missiles today and in the future can be equipped with a new or modified interceptor capable of shooting down adversary ballistic missiles in their boost phase and could be surged rapidly to hotspots to strengthen U.S. active defense capabilities and attack operations. The report gives the Air Force and Missile Defense Agency six months to deliver a report on how to best fit F-35 into the new role of ballistic missile defense. An ICBM, as its name implies, is a missile that can travel from one continent to another. These could be used to carry conventional as well as nuclear warheads. Countries like the US, Russia, China, India deploy a significant part of their strategic nuclear warheads through ICBMs. Once launched, ICBMs travel in a parabolic path, like a ball flying through the air. In the boost phase, it utilizes rocket fuel to generate thrust and gain speed. Once it obtains the required velocity, also known as the escape velocity, it's able to free itself from the Earth's gravitational pull and leave the atmosphere. As determined by the parabolic trajectory, it eventually re-enters the atmosphere and, aided by gravity, descends onto the target. These missiles use inertial navigation systems as well as GPS for guidance. A ballistic missile could be best intercepted in the initial boost phase or during re-entry or terminal stage. F-35 could come into the picture in the boost phase where it could potentially strike and cripple the missile. For a role like this, F-35 could use a current air-to-air -air missile with some modification or deploy an entirely new missile. One of the current missiles that could be modified for use is the AIM-120D missile. AIM-120D, manufactured in America by Raytheon, is an upgrade over the AIM-120C and includes several new enhancements. This includes a two-way data link, superior navigation through GPS-enabled inertial measurement unit, the software algorithm has seen a lot of work and has a much better capability, especially in dealing with new forms of electronic attack. It has a max speed of Mach 4 and a range of 160 kilometers. The missile is integrated into a large number of fighters, including F-35s. Modifications could include enhancement to increase its range further. If U.S. military wants to design a totally new weapon, then there are many possibilities. A weapon could be designed from the ground up to meet the specific requirement of this mission. Some study about this has already been conducted. A 2012 report by the National Academy of Sciences has stated that this was not practical. The main challenge lies in the range of the interceptor missile. Air-to-air -air missiles are limited by size and in turn by fuel capacity, which directly affects their range. This limitation becomes more pronounced if they're designed to be carried inside the weapons chamber of fighter jets like F-35s, which is essential to maintain the stealth profile. So technically, F-35s will have to be pretty close to potential missile launch sites. This kind of scenario brings two challenges. One, the F-35s will have to know the possible launch site well in advance so that it can reach it. 
This is technically possible since the US has a vast number of satellites gathering information round the clock and a bunch of F-35s could be put on constant patrols. Air patrols are not new and during the Cold War, America had B-52s equipped with nukes assigned to this kind of mission. Two, The F-35s may have to fly deep into enemy's airspace. This is also feasible because of the aircraft's stealth profile. Though both of the above is technically achievable, the practical implementation will be very complex. It remains to be seen how things pan out. Thanks for watching. Subscribe for more videos like this. Hit the like button if you find the video interesting and kindly provide your feedback in the comment section. This will help us improve.